back to my channel. Today I will be talking about my monthly favorites. This is kind of a challenge for me because I love trying out new stuff. And for something to actually be called a favorite is a big deal. So I decided to just go with five items every month. That's why I'm calling it Fave 5. So these are my September favorites. Let's get started. I will start off with this. This is Dr. Mascara Fixer. This is from Etude House. It is a mascara primer. Just like a lot of Asian ladies out there, our lashes tend to just point down all the time, even if you use a, an eyelash curler. It doesn't stay curled for long. Even if you use curling mascaras, they don't last. But when I use this, I'm using it right now and my eyelashes are still up there. So what you do is you just put it on your lashes before you put your mascara. You wait for a couple of seconds for it to, to set and to dry. And then you just go and put on your favorite mascara and it will stay curled for the rest of the day. I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. It's, it's still there, still curled. If you have the same problem as I do, those pesky, pointing down lashes. Go ahead and try this out. It's from Etude House. Next one is this, is the Mary Luminizer. And this I just bought like one to two months ago, but I have been saying it a ton of times in my channel. I love that glow. You don't really need a lot to make your face glow. So it looks like this. I love the balm products. Their packaging is just very interesting. So it has this big mirror that you can always use for putting on your makeup. And as you can see here, there's a ton of highlighter in there. This is enough to last me for my entire lifetime. What I normally do is I just use this fan brush, put a little on the tops of my cheeks, sometimes a bit on the tip of my nose, and then my cupid's bow. And that's, that's it. But you can also use this as an eyeshadow. The third one is this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. I, I've heard good reviews about the Urban Decay one. There's the Scandinavia one. But those are pretty pricey setting sprays. And I want to try setting sprays because I do have that oily to combination skin, which is pretty much normalized now because of my skincare. But Anyway, I tried this out and I've been loving it. It gets rid of like the, that excess powder when I set my, my makeup and it just adds up to that <laughs> glow. So yes, if you do like that glow and you want your makeup to last the entire day, go ahead and try this out. The next one is not a makeup item. I have been loving this for the past month. This is a Victoria's Secret Fragrance, Mist, and Pure Seduction. Well, let me start off by saying I have a ton of perfumes and mists, body sprays, but for some reason I've been reaching out for this a lot. This has red plum and freesia. I mostly like sweet and fruity scents, not really much of that flowery scent. I think that's, I don't know, for some reason it makes me feel like I'm older. Do you also feel the same way or no, just me? For Victoria's Secret, I love that they do that, just the right amount of the fruit, fruitiness. Huh? Victoria's Secret is very good with mixing that fruity and that flowery scent. I absolutely mm, adore this. This is a very sweet, in sexy scent. I do have the shower gel version of this as well. And if you're a fan of that sweet and fruity, but not so overpowering scent, go ahead and try this out. It's quite hard to try to describe how something smells like because like, it's not as if I can just show it to you and you know, spray it on the camera and you can smell it. But if you have a favorite Victoria's Secret scent, please let me know. I would love to know your favorites. I would love to go ahead and try them out. You never know, it might be in my next favorites video. So, yes. My last favorite is this. This is the makeup eraser. This has made makeup removal so much easier for me. You're supposed to dampen it and then use it to remove your makeup. But what I do is I spray my face with water and 
that's when I go ahead and use this to take off my makeup. It is a pretty good makeup remover. I mean, even the waterproof makeup that I own, this has no problem taking it all off. The only thing that I don't use it for is taking off like the, those long lasting liquid lipsticks because I just don't like the idea of, you know, rubbing it on my lips. I tried it once, but it wasn't, I didn't enjoy it. It just, it, it took a long time. So but go ahead and try this out. It's quite pricey, but since you can, you know, reuse it, I would definitely recommend this. And I, I always bring this when I travel. So there you have it, guys. Those were my monthly favorites. Please click on like if you enjoyed this video and hit on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. It's the same name. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. This has made my makeup removal process so much easier. The meh. Look, it's there. It's just there. Look at that. It's there. <laughs> there, it's down now. There. Anyway.